How's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to use BCC Ripple Dissolve and also S Shake and basically you're going to pair those two together and create an effect that looks like this and it's so easy to make because really all you're doing is just copying down my settings. However, for tutorial purposes I will have to remake it so I've got my clip over here which has already been time remapped so the first thing you want to do is search for BCC Ripple Dissolve so just this one over here and drag it onto your clip. Now first of all change the animation from auto to percent done then you to keyframe the percent done at the start to zero head all the way to the end one frame back as always and set this to 90 and open up the graph now we are not going to be using this graph that we usually use so it's the one at the bottom we are actually going to make use of this one at the top so it should look like a diagonal line and it does seem tricky to use at first but it is very easy because all you need to do is first of all highlight both of your keyframes right click and click on bezier then you want to open it up so there should be a bar between these two so just there and you want to pull it down which will extend it so it should look something like this hopefully if you have done it right this is very similar or in fact should i say identical to the graph that after effects uses as it is more effective so all you need to do is just copy down what i do so grab this first handle and just pull it up like so Okay, so there is an issue. I was going to say pull it to the left, but you can see that it's blocked and I think it's an issue with Premiere Pro. So to counter this issue, what I do is I push this keyframe forwards just a few frames and then I make the change that I want to make. So I'm going to make my graph like this, which is a bit curved and also change this up as well. So I'm just going to pull it to the left. So it should bend looking like this and then just push it back. Next, you want to change the radius peak to 1000 and then the wave width to 25. Now play it back and check how it looks because it will look different depending on your graph if you have graphed it properly. So this is what mine looks like and although I am pretty happy with it I feel like I could have improved the graph so what I'm going to do is just push it forward and I want it to last longer so I'm just going to push this down a bit so that it doesn't bend too sharply. So something like that looks fine and then I'm going to push it back and let's play it back. Perfect. Now the warps are more visible as you can see around the edges so that's step one done and now what we need to do is add on s shape this part is super easy so i'm just going to copy over from my example and just paste it and before i do show you my settings what you need to do is just keyframe the amplitude to one at the start head about 5 10 15 actually it depends on the duration of your clips of course but just head a few frames to the end of your clip close to the end and just set it to zero right click on the second keyframe and click on ease in now you can copy down my settings so frequency should be at five turn on the motion blur and set the blur length to five then scroll down for the x shape you want to change the random to 100 the frequency to 1.3 open up the y shake it should go 30 1.2 and then for the Z shake, it should go 29 or 30. If you like rounding numbers up, then just go for 30. It doesn't really matter. But the random frequency should be 2.250. Open up tilt shake, 0.2. And I think that's it. This should be your results. However, it's not final because you might want to make some changes. For example, if you think there is too much motion blur, just turn down the blur length to maybe like 2.5, for example. And that just makes your clip a little more clearer. So before and after. To finish it off, I'm just going to close these. I'm going to add the levels effect underneath adjust. Just add it underneath a shake. And the first thing I'm going to do is head one frame ahead from the start of my clip. So just like that, keyframe it and set it to let's go 75. Then head about 5, 10, 15. So somewhere towards the end of your clip frames ahead and then reset it back to zero. Open up the graph and we're going to use the second handle. So the one down here and just put it to the left like so. Perfect. Head back to the start and set the keyframe to zero. So now we should have three in total. And this is my result. Members, thank you for your support. I will provide the project file to this on my Discord server. So join if you haven't already. But anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.